आत्मनिर्भर भारत इनमें पीएम मोदी अनाउंस्ड इज प्लान फॉर एन आत्मनिर्भर और सेल्फ रिलायंट इंडिया और एस सम से ही अनाउंस्ड येट अनादर कांग्रेस प्लान दिस वन सिंस इंडिपेंडेंस जस्ट रीपैकेज पर यूजल to aid in his repackaged noble cause and to help tide over the consequences of a global pandemic his government announced the atmanirbhar financial package while the government announced that all covid-19 stimulus measures together account for 10% of the gdp a quick analysis corrects this to be not even 1% but just 0.91% also A lot of the schemes mentioned in these packages like the agricultural produce marketing committee or the schemes concerning the foot and mouth disease are pre-existing with the stipulated finances already attached to them before the corona virus even hit India. The latest package talks of no direct cash transfers or even a basic minimum income to prevent millions from falling into poverty. Instead, it focuses on loans to an already financially distressed population thereby leaving lakhs of migrants, farmers daily wage laborers laid off workers self employed individuals small and medium business owners and workers in unorganized sectors in a lurch as per experts the packages announced by the government are lopsided in favor of the monetary or supply side while providing very little relief for the fiscal or demand side which will adversely affect the manufacturing sector additionally a number of sectors have been completely ignored by the government even though some of them have suffered the most collateral damage of this pandemic including the tourism hospitality transport logistics automobile textile retail and services sector as per experts the healthcare sector too has received little stimulus to address its immediate concerns even as hospitals bear increased operating costs to deal with the corona virus True to BJP government's history, this Atmanirbhar package was yet another addition in their long list of jumlas, which does nothing to help the country in these trying times.